video, I'm going to show you how to make duct tape beads. They are pretty darn awesome if I do say so myself. Before we get into supplies, I want you guys all to know that I have a ton of other duct tape tutorial videos, so please check those all out after you watch this video, especially my how to make a bifold duct tape wallet video, which is almost at 2 million views, so please let's get that to 2 million plus. Alright guys, let's move on to supplies. For this craft, it's easiest if you have a cutting board. You'll also need a ruler, an X-Acto knife and or a pair of scissors, a small container or a wet sponge, a toothpick or thin paintbrush, and of course some different colors or patterns of duct tape. First you're going to choose your color of duct tape and lay out some strips on your cutting board. I usually make my strips between 5 and 8 inches. Next you're going to cut your strips in half lengthwise. You can also cut them into thirds or fourths if you want to experiment with littler beads but I'm just cutting these all in half. And I realize there's a lot of pink going on here, but look at it, it made purple. I just moved these strips apart a little bit so you can see what's going on for the next step. You're going to find about the middle of the strip and then you're going to lay your ruler down. You don't want it to go straight across. You want the other end of the ruler to meet at the corner of the strip so it's diagonally kind of like a really elongated triangle. Then you're going to take your X-Acto knife and cut. Hopefully you can see that line where I cut. You're going to actually do this twice per strip, so find that middle again down here and then put the ruler up to the other corner over in this side and you're going to cut it again. Watch your fingers. Alright, so here's what I did with those cuts. A strip that's this wide on the end will result in a bead somewhat like this and the ones that are not as wide, like these ones, will give you these littler ones. In order to get a bead the size of this green one, your strip has to be about half this at the end. Alright, now it's time to form the beads by wrapping them around a thin object. So I have this sword toothpick. You could also use a really thin paintbrush or something else. And you're also going to grab your little container full of water, or you can use a wet sponge so you can wet your fingers every time you put the tape onto your thin item. I peel the strip off of my cutting board. So I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to wet the end of the tape because you don't want that part to be sticky or it will get stuck to whatever you're wrapping it around. I'm also going to take my little toothpick guy and I'm going to wet the area that I'm going to start wrapping. I'm starting with the widest part of my duct tape strip and then I'm just going to put that around the toothpick. So then you're just going to wrap that entire strip around the toothpick, keep wrapping it over itself, and it should form a really cool bead. Then you should be able to just slide your bead right off, and yeah, my focus is changing. What the heck? Stop it. So here's one bead. Whoa, stop that. Here's one bead. Now it's time to make a bunch more, and then you can start making some jewelry. Probably the easiest way to make a bracelet is to use elastic cord. I have this sparkly kind. Cut a piece that's a few inches larger than your wrist. Then you're going to start threading your beads on. You may want to dip the end of your string in water if it keeps getting stuck to the inside of your beads. I'm also using glass beads in addition to the duct tape beads. Once your beads are strung, you're going to tie a couple knots and call it a bracelet. If you make the holes of your beads large enough, you can get some thin chain and you can actually make this like a normal charm bracelet. I have tutorials on charm bracelets, but you would basically, I know this is a weird camera angle, but basically you would just add jump rings and clasps and such. And you can even add a tiny little mini duct tape bow to your bead and like add that as a centerpiece or anything like that. So yeah, if you end up making your own duct tape beaded bracelet or beaded duct tape bracelet, you know, I don't know if that's interchangeable or not, but it is in this video because I just screwed up one way or another. Uh, anyway, so post that picture on Instagram, my Facebook fan page, or tweet it to me on Twitter. All those links are in the down bar. Um, if you're going to send it to me on Instagram, use hashtag SoCraftastic. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lovely craft video. Please check out all of my links in the down bar. Again, check out all of my other duct tape tutorial videos. And you guys have a great rest of the day. I will see you soon. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Okay, great, bye. I'm leaving with both hands because I have beads in the middle. It's like a sandwich. Taste the rainbow, but don't actually eat them. I kind of want to throw these, but I don't want to pick them up. My bubbles that are actually beads.
My nail has an awful black heart on it because my black nail polish is drying up and it made it look terrible. This is my angry face. Hey. <laughs> that was so cheesy, but I don't really care. It, I have an itch in my ear. I don't know what that is. I'm sitting really weird, sorry, but if you, uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have not filmed in so long, I can't even do it. My camera almost fell, and I think I almost spilled my beads. They're kind of right there. Whoa. Do, 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 do. This is my new camera angle from now on. Whoa. I'm just kidding. Well, well, well. Uh, that is all, folks. Bye.